Hello, Hogzilla here again. In today's video, I'm going to cover my tips and tricks to completing the second hardest mission in Tropico 6, the Battle Royale mission, specifically on hard difficulty. Click the link in the upper right hand corner if you want to see my video on the hardest mission, which is the referendum on hard for Tropico 6. If you want to watch the whole video, I will leave the link in the description below. As a quick reminder, if you want to be notified of my new videos, press that subscribe button. If you like these kind of videos, press that thumbs up and any questions, leave a comment below. The first thing to note is to keep things simple. No building extra items unless it is a faction demand. Just build enough to complete the quests and get money. In the colonial era, build your planks as you will be in debt quickly on hard difficulty. Also build those gold mines in the mountain as they bring in big money. Get that library built high priority along with the newspaper plus max out those budgets. Once you can afford it, Build the rum distillery, as rum is another big money maker. I know in this video that I build the fort and guard tower, but I have been experimenting on other videos of not building the fort or guard tower until the next era, because if you build quick enough, you should never encounter the pirates, therefore nullifying the need for the fort. Get that 15,000 and get the revolutionary faction demands complete and go on to the next era. In the World War era, get that firehouse and clinic built right away along with the shipyards for boats as boats in this era bring in a lot of money. Build your fort and barracks close together so that you can use the arsenal bonus from the upgrades of the fort to get increased hit damage when attacking. Get your coal and iron mines built plus your steel and the steel trade route as quick as possible as there is an embargo going on and you'll rarely see trading boats until you release that embargo. Rarely in these mission videos do I say do the optional quests, but you do want to do the watchtower one as you do get a free army base. Also build the command garrison as quickly as possible, but don't select any raids just yet. Wait until you have completed the steel trade route and for the access to attack. At this point, select sabotage access plus the great wonder. Also, make sure that you're researching the police and the building permit edicts, then enacting those as quickly as possible, as this will give you Swiss money when building things or arresting citizens, as this will become important later in the mission. Just as you defeat the Axis with your fort and barracks, you should be completing the Axis sabotage with your command garrison, and then you should be able to go to the next era. In the Cold War era, get your security checkpoints built and max out their budgets. Get your spy academy built with two observation raids and get your prison built with the convict labor work mode. Build your rubber farms and vehicle fa factory as cars are big money makers. Then build your research lab as you are going to need rapid research points later. Build your banks and research and then apply the slush fund work mode to get Swiss money. Also research experimental ground testing, super party, and nuclear plant. Be sure to build a minimal amount of tourist area up on the hill by the ancient ruins. Build five hotels, the required ancient ruins, and a snorkel bay. This is just enough to complete the later quest. 
add another item if you want to get a little more money from tourists. Here is the reason why I built only a minimal amount of tourist infrastructure. Later, when rebels, other nations, or Lord Wyndham attacks, tourists will all leave the island, which will leave all those items sitting up there, taking up money to maintain. Complete the optional quest for 40 soldiers to get the free aircraft carrier, as this will help later with attacks. I have been experimenting in other playthroughs that I don't need to build the uranium mines like you see in the video here. I just build the nuclear plant and the nuclear program and complete the required quests and then demolish the plant and program after they are complete as these are money drains. And the coal power plant, when set at the max budget, does just cover all the electrical needs of the island. Before the nuclear program task is complete, build two embassies. By one of the two embassies, build three gourmet restaurants with the work mode set to dignitaries only. This will help later with the EU in the next era. In the modern times, when you enter this era, immediately pause the game. Put the EU in the embassy with the three gourmet restaurants and the Middle East in the other embassy. A children's museum with the Oxford work mode also helps with EU relations. Add praise to both embassies if you can and acquire as many EU export trade routes with the highest number of items setting to get the maximum relations out of those export routes. This will help bump up the ratings as it will take a severe drop in a few moments and you won't be able to get those export trade routes with them if your relation value is too low. This is also where the gourmet restaurants help as they give a relations boost also. Build your three great wonders on the East Island and put uh, also build your cyber division. Complete the Lonely Island Raid and ensure that you have 50k in Swiss money as that will be an important demand of the Lonely Island Raid. Then is the tricky part. The other demand from the Cyber Division might uh, be a, a number of different items. One of them is wait X number of days. Another one could be pay this or give us this item. Or the third item could be the cyber division needs to double the power. In my opinion, the wait X number of days is the most common demand from the cyber division, which can be backbreaking as this will mean more than likely the EU or another nation will attack you again while waiting those X number of days. Once you complete the quest, Lord Wyndham will attack one final time. If you have any money left, apply a few of the watchtowers in the west end of the island as this will distract the attacking forces as they will try and attack those first, making them stationary targets and giving you time to get your forces to assemble to go and attack them. Defeat the strong forces and then you win the game. That is all for this video. I know I left out a bunch of items that I do to complete this mission, but it's very hard to summarize a 52 minute mission into this short of a video, which is why I left the link to the full video in the description below. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have a question or thought, leave a comment below and please consider subscribing to my channel.
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.